Before I get started with the installation, let me show you a little bit about the terminology of what we're going to be looking at. Here's a picture of the USS Constitution rigging, and the shrouds are clearly shown here, along with the rat lines, and then also the dead eyes that are at the end of the shrouds. Down below, you can see more detail of the uh, lanyards, more of the channel, which is the plank that sticks out from the hull, and the uh, lower dead eyes. Also here are the chain plates. In this case, they're actually bars. To show you how I went about this, I built a small mock-up with uh, two shrouds. Uh, the shrouds here are 30 thousandths of an inch in diameter. The dead eyes are four millimeters or five thirty seconds of an inch. And then there is our two uh, whippings or sizings. Normally there are four or five on our actual ship. I attach these two shrouds to a block of wood at the, at the base of which I built this little mock-up of a channel and railing as you can see and then one of the uh, shrouds will be coming straight down to this channel railing combination and the other one will be coming down at a little bit of an angle further to the right. So to do this also I made this little uh, trim piece and filed some grooves uh, on the back side of it. This is where the dead eye will be placed inside of those pieces once they are put together. But first I need to add the chain plates. Uh, these are little etched parts that I came up with the kits of the USS Constitution. And then I also made up some chains that uh, are shown here kind of poorly, but there are three links, a couple long and a short one. And I will be then soldering or brazing this with silver brazing compound. Very, very small touch of it will do. And then with the, the torch, uh, I will just very briefly hit this. It only takes a second or less and then bingo, uh, you have a, a soldered or braised joint. This is what it looked like after I was finished and uh, I'm a little clumsy here, I'm sorry, but the pieces came out uh, pretty well and good enough for my demonstration purposes right here. This is where you can see the joints of the chains and the joint of where the bar was soldered to the dead eye. It's time to take a bath. So here is the, the chain part along with its dead eye and I put it in this solution, the patina, uh, which actually is basically a acid that puts a selenium oxide coating on, in this case, the brass pieces. The wood doesn't seem to be affected and after I'm satisfied that the color is just about right, nice black, I uh, put it in the, the rinse water, which is to the left here of course, and uh, just let it kind of sit there for a while, make sure that the acid has stopped working. Then I took the bar part, also with its dead eye, and put that into the patina. And uh, I was surprised. Normally this would turn dark rather quickly and then I remember I forgot to clean this thing and usually I do this with a piece of uh, steel wool uh, but I noticed that it did take some blackening but it took a little longer than I expected and again the, the wood does not seem to be affected at all with this nor the rinse water the, after it was dried maybe it was a little bit weather looking, but for my purposes that is good enough. Here you can see the pieces before I mounted them onto the mock-up. I had turned my mock-up on its side so that I could uh, show better what I was doing uh, with the channel now in a vertical position. As you can see now, uh, with the ones that have, will have the chains, I had to kind of draw the angle that the rope made from that red pin near the top. I'm sorry my hand is in the way here, but then I also took the pencil and with the last link 
make a, made a mark where I'm going to fasten that uh, piece of chain to the bulkhead or to the planking. Use the number 75 drill to kind of pre-drill a small hole there and then with my hemostats I grab one of these tiny little nails I have and push that through that last link in the hole I had just dropped, uh, drilled. It, uh, it's not very hard. Uh, the hemostats are a little hard to open sometimes but then I use a small hammer to just uh, head them in place. It doesn't look like the, the, the alignment is perfect but I think you get the idea here. So then on the other side uh, I took the bar part and bent it down to where it met the planking. At the end of that brass etching it's got a small tiny hole and big enough for a number 75 drill again to go through and I nailed that in place. So now we have the uh, lower uh, dead eyes in place and they will be lined up it says oops I had to kind of adjust it at the top a little bit to make it about right but you can see now that I'm going to put the lanyard between those two the lanyards are actually made out of 17,000 inch thick rope and I apply I put a knot in the end and apply a little bit of CA glue to make that a very strong and uh, joint that I can later on trim with some uh, scissors. I also apply some uh, CA glue at the end, other end and wipe that off so that what I'm trying to do here is to stiffen up the end of those ropes that I can then after I trim them uh, slide through the blocks or dead eyes in this case a lot easier. Here you can see that the first line it goes through the right hand side the upper hole in the dead eye from the back side I think you can get the idea then that line goes through the same hole on the lower one but from the front so now when, once that is pulled uh, snug you can see that the idea is now to weave that line back and forth through those holes Here's the first one, and then I started well, from the back side again, slide that line through the center hole in this case, and again at the bottom it goes through the center hole, and back and forth we go. The next step of course would be to go to that last hole, which is on the left hand side on the, toward the top of the, the dead eye. But before we can do that, let's finish what we're doing first here. <laughs> So now we have the idea and then on that last loop you have the end of the line and it goes back up toward the top where the shroud is and it is lashed onto the shroud. It uh, is pulled down to where it meets the dead eye and that way it fixes it in place so to speak. For the second one, I applied some beeswax to the lanyard. I noticed on the first one it was a little, uh, I wasn't going through the holes very smoothly. So here is some beeswax on the second lanyard and I started to weave back and forth until that one was done. Ah, pretty straightforward, but this last part is the fun part.